Hello guys and welcome to Comment and it's time for another tutorial and today we're going to create a shader and it's going to be a shader that is going to be with two different textures and going to be combined with a splash map something like this. This is kind of like the end result. Of course it looks weird before people are going to click away. This looks weird because I didn't unwrap this. This is just a default cube which I don't know how the exact unwrapping is inside this uh, object but as you can see you see clearly that this is part of a circle that you can also see right here um, so let's just start so we start with I uh, started deleting everything so we can start over again um, whoops let's just go towards the script and I will just delete it all right so we're going to create a new shader and just a standard surface shader, nothing very special, I'm mean, just going to cut two different textures. Just going to open it, rewrote all. Um, so before we're going to start, a little bit of an explanation. Uh, this is the wrong one. Uh, this means in which map it is, in which folder, um, when you're just going to click on a material, let's just crop your material, um, you can just, here you can just see that it's within custom, so that's that. Then there is, um, here are all the properties and we're just going to copy the main texture and we're going to paste it two times, once. for the second texture and once for the splash texture so just put here a second or whatever you want to call it um, and here the splash texture then we go to the actual calculations um, which is called the sub shader and we're not going to go to into detail how this works but we're just going to add here in the input another UV map and we can add here well not as many as we want we can add here four um, UV maps and because this also next week I'm going to post how to create four textures into one uh, shader we are not going to uh, add here also the second texture but you can also just put it uh, the UV map of the second texture you can just add it like this so that's fine but we're not going to do it uh, just for that reason um, now we got almost everything uh, but we also need here in the sample to the we need the actual textures so that's also something we need to use and that's of course the second texture just copy and paste it and the splash texture then we got here the actual uh, calculations the from the surface um, here is the color and this is the color we're going to use in the end but we're not going to use uh, like this we're just going to copy this and we're going to paste this three times um, for the main color so main color for the second color and for the splash color then we here is the texture that is going to be used so here it is the second texture of course and here is the splash texture of course here is the UV we're going to use and we decided to have the same UV for the main texture and the second texture that's something I think is logic but if you don't think that's logic you can just add here like I said, the second texture and just also add it here. Here is going to be the splash texture. And we're also going to remove all the color because we want to add that, but we want to add that at the end, right here. That's something to make sure that there are not going to be weird uh, behavior inside the shader. So just add here uh, the color. Then we are 
I'm not going to remove this whole variable. Fixed for is, by the way, fixed is um, a kind of um, calculating or kind of, well, a number system with 16 numbers, I think. Um, maybe I'm wrong with this. Uh, from 0 to um, F, I think. So that's the thing we're using, and it's of course four different because you got red, blue, green, and alpha. And we are going to uh, change here the. Uh, we're just going to put here nothing. We're just going to make sure that this is a color. Um, so we're just going to put here splash color. So this also this also means that you can um, make a difference in the alpha by just changing the alpha of the splash texture. Um, because we're going to use here is the alpha set. Um, then here we're going to do the actual calculations, and that's not very hard. The calculations are very simple, actually. Um, we're not going to use the color of this variable. We're going to calculate what is going to be the difference from the main color and the second color. So we got the main color. Uh, let's just call it main call. And the main call, the RGB, is going to be multiplied by the splash texture, or the splash color, I mean. This means that if a value that can different uh, can have different from um, zero to one, because uh, zero is black, one is white, can actually be used as a percentage. And we're also going to put this in brackets, so we can just uh, add the color in the end. And we're going to add the other side. So, for example, if this is uh, dot six then the second color needs to be dot four. I think that's very logic for everyone. Um, so here we, and to calculate that, to calculate what that uh, value is, you can just do one minus the splash color. So now you only need to add that the second color is multiplied by it. And then we got it. So now we're just going to test it. And this will probably look a little bit weird. Uh, we're just going to add the standard assets and from that the models and the floor prototype. And again, this is going to look very weird because I didn't unwrap this one. This just to let's see that th this works. Uh, as you can see, it works. Um, also, as you can see, it looks very weird. Um, it's because I didn't reset this one, probably. Um, this works like it should be, and it's probably going to be a little bit weird. <laughs> I would say this. Uh, I didn't interrupt this thing, so just focus on this part only. Um, this is how, when you cut something like this, it works like it should be. So in the end, we just see what is the value of this pixel what is going to be from this and what's going to be from this and what's combined when using this splash map. Um, that is everything for this tutorial. I noticed the basics of how to add two textures uh, to each other. If you want me to create also a tutorial about how to add the um, bump map, height map and everything else, just put it in the comment section and I will do it next week. Otherwise, I will do next week how to add four textures uh, with one splash texture. So that's it, and I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please leave a like or subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with another tutorial. Bye.